What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's bright and early Wednesday morning. I won't say it's bright because it's kind of raining outside and it's absolutely freezing here in Ireland lads. I don't know wherever you're watching this. I hope it's a lot warmer than here. But anyway, we have finally got a second part to the update. Now I said yesterday in my video we were going to be getting more information and more stuff dropping for this big update. Um, and it now seems that they're kind of like slowly filtering it out, right? So if you have missed yesterday's video where we talked about the V3.2 part one uh, with the co-op and stuff like that, we do have a part two to that. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail here. You can see here part two. Uh, if you missed part one, do check that out. We also have a couple of legend reviews in that. And of course, like and subscribe if you haven't already. But for this, right, we're actually going to go over to the website itself, right? And we're going to talk about the actual... Uh, part two to this announcement, right? So they have talked about co-op, but one of the biggest ones that they talked about is an eFootball League revamp. Now, in this part one and part two, uh, we do not have any news or any information on the new offline slash, uh, you know, league mode, so to speak. Um, there's no mention of it here. Um, I'm sure that it, there will be more news on it or else they'll just drop it tomorrow as part of that news. Um, but this is going to be a big thing going forward, I think, uh, for eFootball League, because I'm going to get into that in a second, right? We'll have a little bit of a rant, a little bit of an explanation of it. But this is the update part two. eFootball League revamp. Various changes and adjustments will be made, including a review of the matchmaking system and, a, and an expansion of the rating system to cover more divisions. We'll get to that in a second, right? Dream team in training. So obviously, at the moment, all you are able to do with the training, right, if you want to test out players, say you sign a, a new player and you sign a, a player that's like a booster or whatever, you get Vieira, you get Collar, and you're like, oh, I'd love to try them out without having to sweat it out in Division 1 or without having to actually have anything on the line. Not that it matters whether you win, lose, or draw in this game at the moment. But you can go into training, you can go to free training, you can go to free kicks, you can practice penalties, free kicks, everything with any player that you want. Only if they're in the game. You cannot use your dream team. So you can change your teams here. Um, no problem. You can pick any team that you want. There's actually a lot of... Every team in the game that they have is actually here. So for example, you can use Bayern. And also you can use, like, say, second division English League. So Skybet teams or EFL um, and EPL teams, right? You can use all of these, like Leicester, whoever you want to use. Um, you also... Not that you want to use Leicester, but also you would have League 1. Um, any of these teams here, you can basically pick. And when you pick them, you're able to do this, the game plan. You're able to do everything. You're able to change different settings. I would use training mode a lot, testing out players, testing the runs, the ID uh, of the cards, how they move without the ball, how they move with the ball. And of course, you can also um, you know, change a lot of features in this as well. Now, it's not as in-depth as, as you would like, but you can take away you know, the... You can change the level of the difficulty. You can take away, you know, you can have seven on seven, five on five to get space and the possession going. You can also change, obviously, the game plan and test out a couple of different bits and pieces here. But that's kind of as far as it goes. So very simply, you are going to be able to use your dream team team within this. Now that kind of ushers in for me, that paints more of a picture than just using dream team in training mode. I reckon there's going to be a separate kind of mode with dream team in it. Uh, or with training mode in it for that mode. Whether this will feature into my league, um, who knows. But I, I do feel that if they're freeing up the, the ability to be able to have your dream team more kind of offline, I think that does filter into that, right? And then we also have on top of that as well, we do have the new one where they talk about um, gameplay changes and stuff like that. Um, they have mentioned gameplay changes. They will be operating with reference to users' opinions and play data provided through surveys and other means. So what I've been told is that they are taking into consideration people's frustrations and people's wants and do not wants with the gameplay and adjusting it, right? I reckon that this V2, uh, V3.2 update, which is scheduled, as we see here, for December. This is not coming Thursday. This update that they're talking about is not coming tomorrow. It's coming Thursday. I've seen a few people, are coming in December, I've seen a few people talk and be like, oh, this Thursday is going to be this and that. And it's like, no, you completely missed the point. This is for December, right? As I've said to you multiple times as before, they don't just stealth drop things. This is as stealthy as they've ever done it, where it's literally like a day or two before and doing it in different bits and parts. I reckon they're just probably trying to get the information out there, slow dripped, and then obviously be able to have everybody up to date with it. But people will still get confused, right? Now, one thing I will say, lads, is, right, this Dream Team stuff that people are kind of looking at here, right, we'll just exit out of this. This Dream Team eFootball League stuff, 
I've always said, and I've been a big fan of, you know, I've been a big, you know, person of of saying that, like, some of this stuff that will be talked about, such as co-op, right, eFootball League, if you are an offline Master League player or an offline career mode player, that is going to completely fly over your head and it's going to be making no difference to you. But if you are somebody that plays a lot of eFootball League, you play a lot of divisions, you play competitively, or else you play a lot of co-op, these stuff, you know, these updates so far from what we've heard in the first video that we did, part one and part two, they are going to be game changing. So as with everything, as the same with cards, you know, it's the same with players that you want to buy or you want to stay free to play, right? Everything is all about perspective, man. If you have somebody that has aspirations to become an eFootball pro or a professional eSports player to, you know, represent or even win competitions and, you know, qualify and be able to actually go on, whether it's online events, then into, into offline events or whatever. If you have aspirations to do that, right, your only solution at the moment or your only path to that is basically to be playing about 40 hours a week. There's no other way to do it, right? So if you take a look at Division 1 here, and I'll just hide my screen a second here, right? This is me with 80% win ratio. Three draws, two losses, and 20 wins. In Division 1, against 80% of my players, 90% of my players have been against Division 1 players. So I would say that the matchmaking has worked uh, effectively over my 25 games. I'd say I've had five games where it's literally been like a gimme, where somebody's had a poor team or they haven't been playing the game that long, and I've just blitzed them because of the team strength that I have and the fact that I obviously play the game quite a bit. But other than that, most games are kind of uh, matched well. Now you'll see the last couple of matches there, 6-0, 5-0, 4-0. Sometimes when you're playing in Division 1, if you get on top of somebody, um, you, you, you can kind of really punish them, like, you know, offensively because the game is very catered towards scoring lots of goals, right? So I do feel like that there is there needs to be a next step. And I do feel like that this Division 1 reset as they talk about here not even a reset but something that like people are going to be able to actually um you know be able to actually do here right is adjustments to a review of the matchmaking system and an expansion of the rating system right as at the moment right when we talk about what's there to actually play for right there's a big issue and i've talked about this at, at length right there's a big issue with the game at the moment that i hope they rectify with this right because genuinely it your division one ranking right really does depend on how much you're playing the game because if you lose if you win 10 games right not everybody has a chance to play 10 games right this is me being a streamer like streaming the game three times twice a week minimum and i've played 25 games in eFootball league right there's a couple of reasons for that obviously i do more content than just do division one games plus we test out a lot of different things so obviously you know i would fit in more games if i wanted to but sometimes you just want to play a match or two and test out different players. And there's no playground to do that at the moment because there's no point in playing, you know, you, you might as well play a division match and get a few rewards and play like an online match with just normal teams or whatever you want to do. Um, it's just, you know, a waste of time. So I think they need to narrow the gap. They need to let the elite, elite players that are pumping 40, 50 hours a week into the game, right? are also people that are just exceptionally naturally good at the game that can just go on a 95 win ratio, right? Um, they need to separate that into like an elite and have, an, have a goal for you to reach it. So if it's me and I'm saying like, look, I want to get elite this weekend. I want to get elite this month. I want to get in with the big boys and I want to test myself or else I just want to chill. I want to top my division, get my rewards and just wait till the next week. You know what I mean? So not everybody plays the game as competitively as everybody else or not everybody plays the game as casually as everybody else. And I just feel like they need to stretch out um, what they're talking about here. So listen, lads, that's it. It's more of an information type video. Um, no real gameplay or anything like that. But let me know what you guys think about this. Part two is now there. As I said, we already covered part one yesterday with the V3.2 co-op news, um, the matchmaking and that. Uh, I do reckon we'll get a part three as well. And I do think that there's going to be big gameplay changes, um, especially with co-op. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to keep everybody up to date with the news first. Um, you know where to go when you want to hear it first. And we will dis we'll discover everything together on the live streams then as well tomorrow. But yeah, that is it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share the video, lads. Share the video if you enjoyed this and it's any bit help to you. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Peace.